Okay, folks, we got a 2010 Nissan Altima, the 2.5S. I had a dead battery turn into a no key read. Um, I got the car from a dealership that had removed the steering wheel lock mechanism, which is classically located right here where this box is. They had already removed it, pulled the fuse, and put a pastime box in it, which is another hurdle in this uh, adventure to getting your Nissan back. You can get any steering wheel lock mechanism from a Nissan that matches the wire harness. I think I got this off of 2008. Uh, make sure you get this uh little guy right here pushed down all the way i drilled a hole through it more out of anger from the headache but make sure that's pushed down you plug it in and it resets the computer you got to do this on the 2010 the wire harness is right behind the steering wheel right underneath it that's where i found this one on all the other youtube videos the lock mechanism harness comes from the main wire harness but in the 2010 it's right behind the steering wheel at least on this one it was the the dealership had hijacked it good then putting on a pastime box which uh looks like one of these guys right here it'll it'll be have a plug on it like that that's going to be right usually right behind the fuse box or up above it but when they plug this in this lets the repo man know uh where you're at so he can come take your car and nobody likes getting their car taken and nobody likes the repo man so you just unplug it looks like that the harness uh looks like this right here it's got these big fat wires it'd be the only big colorful wires you should see but uh you arc the blue and the purple together that's a paper clip. So, that gives it juice. After all that, you don't need this anymore. You take that and throw it away. Make sure your lock's plugged in, your steering wheel lock's plugged in. You can mount it back up there, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna reset it and hopefully be able to unplug it. Now, make sure when you plug this in, you go under the hood. <clears throat> it's like a 10 watt fuse. It says right here, steering lock. Oop, bam. It's in this fuse box right next to the battery. It says it's a, a 10. Uh, it's either that one or that one. It don't matter. You can put in a 15. You can put in a 10. As long as it passes the juice, you're good. Pop that back on. Then the grand finale. Make sure your key fob is programmed to your car. Usually you can find a key guy for... for a good price to do this if he charges you a lot then well that lets you know what type of person he is because it really doesn't take much they hook it up and it reads pop that bad boy in there after you got everything plugged in <clears throat> oh yeah and cover that arc up with something I throw some 
electric tape or anything really. Just make sure you got it buttoned back up to where it's not going to get messed with. And then presto. All you Nissan lovers love this sound. 2010 Nissan Altima. Running again.